composing numbers. Last lesson, we learned to break up numbers into parts or smaller numbers. Today, we are learning to compose numbers. Instead of breaking up, we will put numbers together to make a bigger number. Again, we will use number bonds to help us. There are two groups of flowers here. These are parts. Two flowers are pink. One flower is yellow. When we put them together, we have one, two, three flowers all together. So we write three. Two and one makes three. Part and part makes a whole. Let's look at another example. There are two groups of fish. Some are orange, some are green. How do we fill in the number bonds? That's right, there are three orange fish, so we write three. Two green fish, so we write two. If we put them together, how many fish will there be all together? We have one, two, three, four, five. So we write five. So three and two makes five. Part and part makes a whole. Try another example. How do we fill in the number bonds? That's right. Five apples, two oranges. If we put them together, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fruits all together. So five and two makes seven. Try the last example. There are seven bananas. So let's write seven. There are no fruits in the other part. So we write zero. That's right. If we put them together, we still have only seven bananas. So the parts seven and zero make the whole seven. What have we learned today? We have learned how to compose numbers, putting numbers together to make a bigger number. We learned to use the sentence structure blank and blank makes blank, or part and part makes a whole. We used number bonds to help us. We learned that there are different ways to make the same number. Thank you.